computer. Okay, be recording them. Okay, Aliza, thank you. Uh, sorry, Ariana, thank you for joining me on this question. We're going to be looking at volumes of prisms now. In these particular questions, we're going to have to do a little bit more working out, but it's going to be based on the same principles of what we've just been doing 10 minutes ago. So, when I mentioned to you the volume of a prism, what's the, the basic, the general form that comes to your mind, Ariana? Um, you need to do the arrow times by the length. That's it. That's fantastic. So when I mentioned you volume of a prism, the first formula that should jump in your head should be is the area of the, what's that bit we call on the front? What do we call that part? It's called the area of the, what's the special name for it? It's called the area of the cross section. Mm -hmm. The cross section is basically as, as though when you slice it and that's what it looks like, the face. I call it, I also call it the area of the face of the front. It's the face of the shape. It's a triangle of face traveling all the way through for 12 centimeters. But in mathematical books, they call it cross section. That's lovely. So I'm going to color code it here as well. Lovely. Now, in the previous question that we just done, Ariana, what, what did they give us? Where's it gone? It's over here somewhere. In the previous question, what did they did they give you the area in the question? Yeah. They did, didn't they? Mm -hmm. Well, let's look at the question we're about to do now. In this question, have they given us the area? No. No. So we gotta work out the area. Now, what shape is have I highlighted in orange? What's the name of that shape? So I'm asking you what is it? it's a triangle. Good. And how do you look at the area of a triangle? Um, base times height, and then you divide it by mm -hmm. two. Fantastic. So now we are having to actually work out our own area. The, the questioner hasn't supplied us with the area. Before we had the area and the length, and it was easy. Multiply them together, job done. Here, now we have to go and work it out for ourselves. Okay. So, we have volume, so let's put the numbers in now. So what is the base of the triangle? Um, uh, twenty, uh, four centimeters. And what is the height of the triangle? Five centimeters. Okay, lovely, let's put those numbers in. Okay, so the base is four and the height is five. All of that divided by two times it by the length, which is the length? Uh, 12 centimeters. The length is 12 centimeters. Okay, it's looking very good so far. So what's four times by five? 20. And what's 20 divided by two? 10. And what's 10 times by 12? 120. 120 what? Centimeters. Keep on going. Keep on going. Remember, it it's volume. Cubed. Fantastic with the three. Lovely answer. Well done. So uh, you've taken the heat of the rest of the question now, mashallah. You you kind of joined us in the beginning of this question, this topic, volume of prisms, where we got to work out the volumes, and you're gonna hopefully have helped the students a lot by your bravery in going through the question. So the volume because the area time by the length, yes, that's still the same, but we don't know the area. So we've got to work at the area for this particular shape, which is a triangle, based on by height divided by two, uh, time by the length, put all the values in, we label everything, get the answers. Give me a second, one student just joining us. I need to pause the video just in case it comes in with this video. Okay. Okay, folks, so what do we do with the 0.8 meters, Musa? We need to change that into? I change it to centimeters and that would be 80 centimeters. So what, what do we do with the 80 centimeters? We put it at the front. Put it at the front. So now all our units are consistent. They're all centimeters, centimeters and centimeters. <laughs> so the first bit was we need to change our meters into centimeters to make our units the same because they will try to uh, catch you out in the exam by giving different units in the uh, uh, measurements. We got to change them the same. So, we said that the volume equals area time by the length, area of cross-section. The area of the cross-section is a triangle, so it's based on by height divided by two. 
So the base was what was the base, uh, Musa? It's 10 centimeters. And, the and what was the height? It's 80 centimeters. We've got 10 times by 80 divided by 2 gives us 400. And then you times that by 20, that would give you 8,000 centimeters cubed. Okay, thank you for that, Mr. Musa. Doing his second time there, exactly. Thank you very much, young man. Okay, right, we're gonna pause our video now. Okay, okay, see if you can tell. Okay, so we change the 70 millimeters into 70 meters first. Good. Now let's label up our diagram. So we have the 70, 7 centimeters is our base. The 8 centimeters at the back is our height at the front. And then we have a length of 100. Okay, so give me the values now. Um, the value is 7 times by um, 8. 8, which is um, divided by 2, which is 56 divided by 2. Which, which is? Um, 2, 28. And then you multiply that by the length of the shape, which is? Um, 200, and um, no, 2,800. Okay, and I can see from the answers here, it be your, your answer is twice as big. Uh, Ayan, your answer was uh, twice as big. Uh, Musa's answer, mashallah, was correct. Uh, Lisa, your first answer was incorrect. Okay, so I've got, I've got one or two right answers, but most of you, you've got double the answer. And the reason why you got double the answer, because you forgot to half the area of the triangle, based on by how divide by two. If you don't work out the divide by two, you will get double the answer. So I literally forgot. Mr. Kabul, I sent um, 2,800. Yeah, yeah, your answer, uh, is that uh, uh, Eliza? Yeah. Okay, I think uh, somebody... I actually sent the two, 207. Yeah, that's fine. I think I must have mistaken some other one. Yeah. Because I, what's, the, what's the two of the, the next one? Yeah, that was an accident. That, okay, um, no, no, was... okay, yeah, that's fine. So 2,800 is lovely. Okay, good, good, good. Alhamdulillah, we got that right. Right, let's move on. So, so the volume of the triangles will be done in the same fashion. I'm going to move on to the next shape now. Okay, so this one we haven't done last week, which we're going to do today. So we've got a prism, which has the a face of a trapezium at the front. Okay. Now, let's move on to work out the volume of this prism. Okay, we're going to need a brave warrior for that one as well. Give me a second. Okay, Mr. Idris. Now, for this particular formula, trapeziums, we haven't done them before, actually. So I did put a little formula here to help you out. What's the formula for the area of a trapezium? So the area, uh, are you there, Mr. Idris? Idris, can you hear me? A and B times Divide by two times height times the length. Okay, the area is the orange part. So I've color coded it for you. So we said before the volume is equal to the area time by the length. This is the area here, all of that. So we're still using the same formula, but we've got the new version of it. So let us grab that. Copy. Hmm. Okay, so we're working on, let me just put this actually over here on top. There you go, there's the formula. Right in over there. So we have our formula there. Volume because area time by the length. Now the area of a trapezium, A and B are called the parallel sides. They're the parallel sides and they're indicated by this little kind of arrow here to indicate that they are parallel lines, same distance apart all time. Okay, so our A, we can call the bottom one A, and the top parallel side, we call it B, and the height is already here, the height of the trapezium, which is four, and the length of the trapezium, how long it is, is over here. 
the length is equal to 20 and the area is this part here that we're looking at the cross section so the formula is above us let's get started Dries. come on What's a and b which is 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters yeah divide that by 2 yeah which equals 8 centimeters and times that by 4 which equals 32 centimeters and then you times it by 20 which equals 640 centimeters cubed yeah. okay so 6 out of 10 is 16 16 divided by 2 is 8 and then you do 8 times by the height 4 and then you times that by 20 is that what you done yeah okay so 8 times by 4 is 32 32 times by 20, the answer is? 640 centimeters. So you do 32 times by 2 is the which is 64, double it, and then add the zero back on. So that's how we do the area of a, tra of a trapezoidal prism. Okay? Okay, so on. Okay. Now, so look at what the shape we have. We have here uh, a parallelogram prism as well. Okay, I'm going to give you guys one question to do now from this section. I'm going to leave the formula there. Uh, all the units are in the right format. Which question should we give you? Give you the second one. Okay, everybody have a go at this question. Three minutes. Starting now, go. Don't forget to write down the formula. Volume equals area time by length. I'll give you a little bit of help. So these two sides are parallel. This is the height. And this is the length. Got to work at the area of the front piece. Now you need to put the values in. and I'm up. Thank you, the answer. Okay. So Musa sent me the answer. Ayon sent me the answer. Okay, good. If you if you can see the bottom question, you two, you can have a go at that question. But I don't want to move it too much. There you go. For those of you who finish, you can try the bottom one. So I've got three answers. Suli, Ayan, and Musa give me answers. They all give me all the same answer. Yeah, Doesn't mean it's necessarily right, but <laughs> so far that. It's not right. Okay. I didn't say it's not right. So Suli, I'm going to go through this question with us now. What is the A for this trapezium at the front? Is, um, 11. The A is five. So look at the labeling. Oh, yeah, five. What's the B value? Um, A level. You divide it by two. And what's the height of the trapezium? The height is 2.5. And what is the length of this uh, prism? Seven. Okay, lovely. What's five at 11? 16. 16 divided by two is? Eight. What's eight times by two and a half? And eight times by two and a half, you do first of all on the side, eight times by two and eight times by a half. Eight times by two is 16 and eight times by the 0.5 is four. So that gives you 20. So I gave you second answer. Okay, that's fine. And also me, I corrected it. 
20 times by 7 is? Meters cubed, not squared. Okay, folks, put your hands next to your names. You've got that right. Show a show of hands. Don't unmute yourself. Just show me show of hands on the class. Okay, well done, Ariana. Sully, well done. Ibi, well done. Musa got it right as well. And Ayon got it right. Excellent. Aliza, did you get it right? Okay, next bit. Okay, we're coming towards the end of the lesson, but we've got this one last bit to do. So we might go over by a few minutes. Okay, so please bear with me. I want to make sure we finish up this last page now. I'm sure there's not another one. No, that's what we really done. This is a nice one anyway. Okay, we're not done to do. Okay. So Ariana, please put your mic back on. Okay, now, when I mention the word volume to you, what comes to your mind? Um, area times by length. Fantastic. When you think about volume of a prism, you must be thinking about an area multiplying by the length. The area is a cross section, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's color code it. The area is the area of the shape of the front. Mm -hmm. And in this case, the, the shape of the front is called a para. Parallelogram. Okay. So, what's the area for a parallelogram, uh, Ariana? Um, eleven times by twelve. Fantastic. Base time by height, you mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's always going to be the base time by the perpendicular height. The height is always at ninety degrees. See, so it's, it's never this measurement here. This measurement is not the one we want. You want the one which is straight from the top to the bottom. So this 11 is not talking about this. It's talking about this. This is the 11. So make sure you understand that point. Okay, remember it's all about formulas and... Okay, so lovely. So volume equals the base is 12 times by the height of 11 times by 4. That's just a little um, printing error there. It's not point naught. It's, it's, it's 40. Hmm. Yes. Okay, next. So, uh, Ariana, what's the answer? What's 12 times by 11? 132. What's 132 times by 4? 528. Mm -hmm. Let's check. 4 times by 2 is 8. 3 times by 4 is 12. Yep. Yeah. So, it's 528 what? Centimeters cubed. Millimeters cubed, remember, yeah? Oh. So Victor. We're starting off with millimeters. Everything is in millimeters, so the answer will be millimeters cubed. So the okay. volume of a prism that has the front face of a parallelogram is exactly the same kind of formula for the, uh, uh, for the volume of a cuboid. It's basically base time by height, time by how long it is. Okay, let's do one more question, Ariana. So, volume equals the base. Sorry, volume equals the area and by the length. So what's the area of this face in the front? Um, How do you work it out? Uh, base times by height. So what is the base? 2.1 centimeters. And what's the height? 10 centimeters. And what's the length? 50. 50 centimeters, 50. good. What's 2.1 times by 10? 21. 
Fantastic. What's 21 times by 50? Um, Do 21 times by 5? Hundred and five. Add the zero back on. Um, one thousand and fifty. Centimeters what? Uh, cubed. Done. Fantastic. Okay, there's two questions left, folks. I'm gonna give you three minutes. Starting now. Off you go, Doom.